This next video, we're about to show you how to convert your video content into audio format so then you can probably place it in a podcast show or what have you. It's an awesome way to have your content on different platforms. All of the software or applications that we are using are absolutely free. We're using VLC, Meteor Player. Free, totally free to do this, and it works very well. I've been using it for a lot of years. So this is how you do that. I'm going to open up a VLC. You're going to tap on Meteor. You're going to scroll down to convert slash save. Left click that. You want to tap on add right here, the little plus thing. Bam. And then you want to pick one of your videos that you want to get into an audio form, right? I have videos here from my show on the lockout, which you can see on YouTube. And I also have on the lockout in podcast format. And you can tell on the lockout on YouTube, I'll show where I tell my stories from being in the streets, being a loser, to incarceration, to actually changing my life. You can see and hear some of that content in audio format on iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, on over 500 and something major audio format uh, applications worldwide or just Google on the lockout podcast and you'll see it all. And this is exactly how I do it right here. So this video I just made today and posted on the lockout about dudes that are disrespecting in the courtrooms, right? It's just to show you. So I left click it, comes down here, hit open. It's in there, right? Then you want to hit convert at the bottom here. Now, I have it set to audio MP3 because most hosting servers want MP3 files because it's much easier for them to deal with. You want to tap on this wrench over here and you want to go, if it, when, when you go into it, if it's on one of these like WAV file, uh, any other file, you want to tap on MP3. Then you want to check what's going on in here. I normally keep it at just the way it is. Keep original video track. Over here where it says audio Kodak, I change it. I put MP3 from all of these. I tap on MP3 and I put it at bit rate 128. And that's the way I usually have it set up. And I don't touch nothing else. Resolution uh, is the spot where it comes up or right here. Yeah, I leave all that just as is. You just want the audio. I hit save. I browse. And I add a name to it. Now, the way that you put this in its actual, like in a file for itself, is let's say you want to call it... Um, Big dog. But at the end of it, you have to hit dot. M. P. Three. It has to say at the end of whatever you want to name your file, you have to put dot M. P. Three. And. It actually uh, exports the file quick. It turns it into an audio file quick is what I'm trying to say. So you're going to know if it's working, if it's not doing it too fast. Depending on, I have very good, uh, I have an Ethernet cable connected and my upload and download speed is at 940 something. Not showing off, just letting you know. So I'm pretty sure it has to do with that also. But for the most part, it's always quick. Hit save. Hit start. And just like that, it's going. And it's converting it 
into an audio format. You're going to see that's pretty quick for a 24 minute and 11 second video content with editing in it or types of stuff for it to actually be doing that. And then the way it switches, well, again, audio bit rate is a lot different, but it that's it. It's like magic. It's done just like that. We're going to click that off. 